Some very strange things have been happening of late. Hours have passed without me realizing it, and I can't recall what I was doing during this time. I experience full blackouts, and when I regain consciousness, I find whole new sections of code have been written for my game. Even though this keeps happening, I have an almost uncontrollable urge to continue. It's almost as if something or someone is driving me forward. A more interesting section of code written during one of these episodes pertains to Mr. Tops. The code contains a way for Mr. Tops to access the library of functions localized in the book I designed that controls the rules of the game's world. With access to these functions, Mr. Tops can quite literally change the game for a unique experience with each playthrough. My blackouts are getting worse. 
but despite them, I have not been able to stop working. When I sleep, I have nightmares about the tall pale man. In one of them, he stands in a huge mirror, but as I approach oh, it, I don't fantastic. see a reflection Fire. of myself. Instead, I see the pale man smiling back at me. He speaks to me, and he commands me to complete the game. He assures me that once it is finished, everything will be okay. I can feel my mind splintering at the seams. I am losing control, but the game must be finished! Fantastic. Fire. Love this one. I can feel reality shifting around me. My mind is fracturing and I've begun having sinister thoughts about hurting myself and others. I am plagued by hallucinations of the world around me shifting into what I can only describe as a copy of what I created for my game. I have no will to stop. My singular focus is to finish my work. I'm now convinced that something has infected my mind and is trying to possess me. I must find a way to fight back.
I now know what's happening to me. The Pale Man and I are one and the same, a twisted and demented version of myself created by Leviathan. I find myself being pulled more and more into the alternate reality of the game. There's no way to stop myself from gradually turning into my creation. I am a prisoner in my own mind and slowly am being driven to madness. But there is a silver lining to this. Mr. Tops and I share the same mind and I now know his plan. He intends to use this game to collect souls for Leviathan. The more he collects, the more powerful he will become. He will eventually be able to tear a hole in the fabric of reality and enter the real world. Well, I can't do anything to save myself. Perhaps I can code a tool or a weapon that will help the people who get trapped in this game.
Doctor. We hope you enjoy the rest of your game. See you again soon. Each version of his game begins similarly, but diverges greatly. Your rendition of his game tells the tale of his most recent victim. I discovered hints that the next iteration of the game was being written using my story. Victim. How many versions of the game came before me?
There isn't much time left. Rapid escalation is taking place. The device is nearly complete, and this universe that we have built is nearly finished. The souls we cage here, however, at least have a chance to survive. Thanks to this device, I found a way to record our memories and store them on disk. Hopefully, this will help future victims.
this will most likely be my last message. If you find yourself listening to this, please know that I am truly sorry. All I wanted to do was make a game. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Mr. Tops must be stopped, but as long as the book exists in this world, he cannot be destroyed. You must first destroy it. He keeps it locked away behind a door with an ever-changing key. The key will be something that represents you in the real world. Find it. Open the door and burn the book.